What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? Back again. You know what time it is. Uh, what's rock and roll? Today I'm going to talk about America. Uh, is America on a religious crusade? Now, I'm going to say this with the pretext that America, the United States of America, everybody knows what I'm talking about, don't get corny with the comments like I see, but uh, America is uh, a largely, I'd say about 75%, probably more than that, 75% uh, Christian, Christian based country. It's based on Christian principles, you know the whole nine yards. Some of you that don't that live here, if, if you don't, it's for comparison, but I'm going on. But, uh, are we on a, a religious crusade? Because now, look, look, look at all the, our, our recent, uh, our recent problems lately, like our recent wars, if you would say. We, we fight uh, Al Qaeda. We got uh, Hamas. We got uh, the PLO. Now we're going after uh, ISIS. Now, it, I dare say the word, and uh, George Bush's W's administration said it one time. You can look this up. He said crusade. And when I think of crusade, I think about the religious crusades back in the day where it was all out religion versus religion and that. But the problem here in America is, is the political spend that you put on these religions. Like I know for a fact the majority of people, it depends on where you live too. Because if you go to Hicksville, USA, they have no interaction with people of other religions. They think a guy that's a Sikh, and I hope I said that right, maybe he wears a turban on his head, they think that's Ali that drives a tax and he's Muslim. They don't understand the significance of people that put the dots on their forehead. Because we we're, were Christians. And here, here's to the point, how, here's how sickening it is in America. We'll tolerate gay marriage, which FYI is against their religion. Against everybody's religion, basically. It's against, it's even in their books, I was against the religion. They'll tolerate that, which, which is an abominable sin, but they're intolerant towards other people of other religions. If you say, like like me personally, I have the feeling is, whatever you feel that makes you happy and that takes you to the path of happiness without having to hurt other people, I'm all for it. I don't care if you're an atheist myself. That's just me. As long as you're not hurting somebody, and that's your path of happiness, and it makes you feel better, I'm all for it. I don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, Jewish, I don't care if you're a Buddhist. I, like I said, I got many friends of many different religions. I'm not one of the ones, and I give people who are, who are faithfully, like, down the line strictly to their religion. I, you know, I give people credit, but I, if it gets you to, to a happy point in your life, how can I hate on that? But here in America, we do. Sunday is the most, Sunday between the hours of, depending on, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot this at hourly wise because it's depending on whatever church, some churches have a Between the hours of 9 and 11 are the most segregated time in America, and it's all due to religion. Like I said, we're, we're mostly a Christian base. But you have black Christians, you have white Christians, Hispanic Christians, Asian Christians, and within that set, you have Catholics and Protestants. But within that set, you have, you know, Baptists, Episcopals, and you, know, you, have, you have your old gap. So I said at the end of the day, are we fighting a crusade? Because from the looks of this country, Christians don't get along with each other. And here's another problem I have. The Pope, this fucking wacko, he comes out, talking about, against uh, ISIS, this, that. No, okay, I don't you know. If they're doing what you say they're doing, I'd have to research it, I, you know. But over there, they've been fighting for millions of years, and now we want to jump in. That's another video. But the Pope, this wacko, he talks about them. I'm like, you need to be addressing these little priests that are sleeping with little boys. That's who you need to be addressing. Whenever, whenever, whenever you're covered as bare, you shouldn't act like you shouldn't act like you know you have too much pride. You need to you know suck it up, Pope. 
because you're not addressing none of the ills in the Catholic Church. Because in a Catholic Church, you get a divorce, you're supposed to be excommunicated, something like that. I see a lot of Catholics that are divorced. They call themselves Catholic. So, me personally, I think it's to the point it's almost like I'm going to be like a crusade. Now, Obama has gone out of his way, and people people understand this, but Obama has gone out of his way to prove two things to you people. You people are fucking stupid because Fox News is fucking bullshitting you. He's proved that one, he's not going to give black people shit. He's treating, in a way it's kind of cool though, he's treating black people like he's treating everybody else. Now, if you choose not to work for what you want, I can't blame the president. I keep hearing, well, the president didn't give me. He doesn't, have, that's not his job to give you that. He's not the commander and thief and giving you shit. You know, if you want something, you have to go out and get it. If you don't want to go out and get it, that's on you. Your, your, your lack of, your lack of intuition, your lack of, I don't say it, your lack of drive, I can't be at fault because you don't want something. It goes to show you the point. America is, we're, we're a superpower down on our luck right now. It's through no fault of, it, well it is through our fault of our own. It's through, and let me tell you what the downfall, how the downfall started. It's when the government got involved in family life, and family business, and took the parental responsibilities away from the parents. Because now we have a, doctor, a bunch of Dr. Sparks in charge, and with all this hugging and feeling and being nice to people, and it's been generation after generation. I think America's, like I said, what's going to happen is you we're sleeping on all these countries. You got China acting up with Japan. You got Russia and Ukraine, which 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 NATO's going by the way, not up. You got all this stuff happening. You got ISIS. You got Hamas. You got Israel. You got the PLO. You got and you got the Saudis pulling our strings on a lot of stuff. But a lot of people don't want to dig deep in this, and that's what I'm trying to see. I'm in charge. I'm someone find it out. Excuse me. So a lot of you people got to do your own research. A lot of you people got to ask. A lot of you, you just got to want it, really. If you don't want it, don't get mad because I want it. And if I get it, I'm not giving it to you either. Peace.